Okay, so I did my paper on child maltreatment. And uh, child maltreatment is a serious issue in the world today and affects many children across the world. Child maltreatment is more than just abuse. It can be the act of starving a child, issuing no love to the child, or withholding valuable resources wow. from these children. Exposing a child to maltreatment can lead to lifelong issues for these children, including drug abuse problems, mental issues, and anger issues, which can also affect those around them. There have been many studies done to show the issues of child maltreatment and their effects on the person. Um, one of the articles I used was, uh, it went into detail about how child maltreatment can uh, lead to obesity later in uh, the child's life. And uh, it used 115 participants for the study, including 60 whites and 60 blacks. And it was shown by the study that there was a major connection between wow. being a white individual that was exposed to child maltreatment and being obese. While this statistic was not seen in black in individuals the way it was in whites. Therefore, the study proved that white children that were abused and mistreated were more likely to be obese than those of African American background. Um... The other one I used was a uh, journal entry that showed how uh, child maltreatment affects a young person's mental health and uh, to discover pathways in which maltreatment can lead to these mental issues. This used 187 mother and child dyads between birth and 64 months of age using home studies and health records. They used this study to see if stress, caregiving qualities, and child maltreatment were causing factors of mental issues in young children. The study showed that by the age of seven, children who were exposed to maltreatment had a huge impact on increased risk of emotional and behavioral problems. People are quick to judge kids who act up in public without knowing the backstory. A child who is acting up in public could have a home life that... Uh, we wouldn't say would uh, suffice and it could be a bad home life that leads these kids to act like this. They could have mental issues from being mistreated and they could take it out in their behavior issues and things like that. And another article uh, went into the effect that this has on school psychologists. School psychologists have one of the hardest jobs ever because uh they are uh hired to be role models for these kids and to be there to help them but most of the time they aren't able to see that a child is having a bad home life or being mistreated at home because a child comes to school and rarely you can see that this child has issues they keep it inside of them and they don't allow for pe people to see it. So these school psychologists have a really, really tough job. And one of the uh, last articles that I used talked about uh, the emotional issues that come with being mistreated as a child. And this is things like depression, SAD, which is social anxiety disorder, and uh, social anxiety can also lead to being outcasted or bullied. Like if they don't want to be around friends or they don't want to make friends, it makes it tougher for them. And this is because they feel like their friends or the ones they want to be friends with will do the same thing to them that happens to them at home. Mistreat them and put them down, make them feel worthless. And this is a realm that leads to the... Uh, the suicidal thoughts, the parts that can really take a child's life. Depression affects millions of people globally, and it is most times difficult to see that a child or adult is dealing with depression due to the fact that most of the time they want to put a fake smile on, go day by day, and they want to make kid or uh, make their parents and make the ones around them feel like they're okay, look like they're doing great when in reality their home life is crap and it's really playing a mental toll on them. So in conclusion, um, 
Child maltreatment is a major issue in the United States as well as globally. There are ways that we could prevent the escalation of this abuse. The issue is many children are not found to be abused because the parents do a good job at hiding it, and therefore nobody is able to see and issue them help. And this leads to many of these children living lives full of drug abuse, depression, and other mental and physical issues.